If you feel that your roof deck is in good condition and needs no repair, you can re-roof over the existing layer of shingles. For best results, we recommend a technique called nesting. However, it is advised that you check your local building codes to ensure re-roofing over existing shingles is allowed for your area. Nesting, which minimizes an uneven appearance that can be caused by the underlying material, may also be used when applying metric size shingles over an existing roof of metric shingles. If the old shingles have only a 5-inch exposure, you'll require 12.5% or 1 8 more 3 tabs than you would if you stripped off to the deck. Begin with a starter strip. Remove the tabs plus enough from the top of the starter strip so that the remaining portion is equal in width to the exposure of the old shingles. Apply the starter strip so that it's even with the existing roof at the eaves, locating the factory applied adhesive along the eaves edge. Remove 4 inches from the end of the first starter strip shingle to ensure that joints between adjacent starter strip shingles will be covered when the first course is applied. For the first course, you need to trim enough material from the bottom of the shingles to allow them to fit between the bottom of the tabs of the old third course and the eave edge of the new starter strip. Start with a full length shingle. Use four nails per shingle placed per the respective shingles application instructions. In this case, for Cambridge, that would be in the nailing line. You'll require slightly longer nails in order to penetrate through the old shingles and the roof deck. For the second and all succeeding courses, offset the shingles as you would for installation on a new deck. Place the top edge of the new shingle against the bottom edge of the tabs of the old shingle in the course above. Although the exposure of the first course is reduced when using this method, this will not be noticeable when viewed from the ground. For valleys, you must first build up the exposed valley area with roof fast to a level flush with the old shingles. Center a minimum 24 inches wide, minimum 28 gauge pre-finished galvanized metal valley liner in the valley and fasten with only enough nails to hold it in place, nailing at the edges only. Overlap each metal piece by at least 6 inches and use asphalt plastic cement under each section of overlap. Snap two chalk lines the full length of the valley, 6 inches apart at the top and increasing in width 1 8 of an inch per 12 inches toward the bottom to a maximum of 8 inches. When the shingles are being applied, lay them over the valley flashing, trim the ends to the chalk line and cut a 2 inch triangle off the top corner to direct water into the valley. Embed the valley end of each shingle into a 3 inch band of asphalt plastic cement and nail the shingles 2 inches back from the chalk line. Special attention is required when working with existing flashings. If the existing flashing is in good condition, continue applying the new shingles over the existing shingles. Trim the new shingles to within one quarter of an inch of the existing step flashing. Embed the last three inches of these shingles in asphalt plastic cement. If the flashings need to be replaced, remove the counter flashing, cut away the old shingles covering the step flashings, and remove the flashing. Build up the areas of the exposed roof deck to a level even with the old shingles before applying new step flashings. When applying the new shingles, each shingle course will be covered by a step flashing. Flashings need to be at least 5 inches high and 5 inches wide. Each flashing should overlap the one below by at least 3 inches but not be visible below the shingle top lap. Embed each step flashing in a 3 inch wide application of asphalt plastic cement and nail in place. The end of each shingle overlapping a step flashing is also well embedded in plastic cement. Remember to reinstall counter flashing over the step flashings. Existing vents and flashings around soil stacks may be used again, but it's recommended that new flashings and vents be installed. Using the hooked blade knife, Cut through the old shingles around the perimeter of the flashing apron and remove them. Fill in this space with a double layer of shingles. Apply courses of new shingles up to the hole in the roof deck. Cut away the shingles to reveal the hole. Plastic cement is applied at the edges and then the vent is nailed firmly in place. Continue shingling, cutting to fit around the vent. The cut shingles should be laid in a bed of asphalt plastic cement. Pipe flashings are installed in a similar fashion and asphalt plastic cement is used to seal the pipe. Nails used to secure flashings to the roof should be used sparingly 
and not be driven close to the pipe. A dab of plastic cement over the exposed nails is recommended to avoid leakage.